Creating any type of scene in Maya can easily begin to slow down your computer's performance, even when you're using high-end workstations. This is where the use of assembly references can be used to make your production workflow more efficient. An assembly reference uses a predefined assembly definition. This gives you the ability to work with a low-resolution cached version of a scene object or locator icon instead of the original high-resolution geometry. Let's use the assembly reference to bring a car into this scene and choose which assembly definition we want to use. Open the Outliner from the Window menu. Right-click in the Outliner. From the menu, choose Scene Assembly, Create Assembly Reference. This opens the Set Definition File dialog. Choose the CarAssembly.mb file, and then click Open. Make sure the Attribute Editor is open. In the Assembly Representation rollout, change the Active Representation from Locator to the Low Res option. This is the Alembic cache version of the car that can be used as a stand-in object and reduce the overall scene complexity. And, because it's an Alembic cache file, you also gain increased performance. If you want to use the full high-resolution object, you can change the active representation to the high-res version. In the Assembly Representation rollout, click the Active Representation drop-down and choose High-Res. This now displays a high-resolution car in the scene. Rendering scene assembly representations provides an additional level of flexibility and productivity when working with complex Maya scenes. Change the assembly representation back to low res from the active representation dropdown. Click Render Current Frame to render the scene. Notice that it renders the low resolution Alembic cache file and not a high resolution version. We can change this in the render settings. From the Render View dialog toolbar, click Open Render Settings. In the Common panel, open the Scene Assembly rollout. There are two options for render representation, Active Representation and Custom. The default setting is to render the Active Representation. From the Render Representation dropdown, choose Custom. When you choose Custom, you have three representation options that you can choose from to filter what you want to render. In our case, we can easily filter by representation name or label. In the representation name type box, type High Res. Make sure that when you use a name or label, that you type the name exactly. Otherwise, you may run into an issue when you go to Render. From the Render View dialog, click Redo Previous Render. Now when the scene renders, you should see the high-resolution version of the car rendered into the scene. This is a great way to optimize your workflow and enhance your productivity while working on scenes, no matter what the complexity.